Now, I know you're thinking, is he supposed to be a science channel? What's, where, where is this going with this science? Shut up, okay? I've, I've already had enough of whatever you're about to say. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to do spray paint art. Like, you know how you go down the streets of New York, Chicago, LA, and there's just some random guy with like spray paint, and he looks really cool because he's like flipping it around with his fingers, and then he's just spraying an entire scenery on a piece of paper. That's basically what we're going to be doing today. I am not nearly as good as those people. I'll be the first to tell you that right now. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna see how this goes. I've never tried to show someone how to do it. You should, uh, I'll put in the video this jank ass uh, easel I got set up right here. It's basically consists of an entire tree, but I, we're gonna see how this goes because I've never tried to teach someone how to do this before. All right, so there's two very important uh, rules you need to follow when you're doing this. Well, one of them's very important. The other, eh. But I'm not gonna be doing either of those because reasons. So, number one, if you don't want spray paint on your fingers for like the next week, wear, uh, wear some of these. Disposable gloves are very nice, especially because uh, you're going to get paint on your hands. That is literally part of the procedure here. Secondly, you probably saw this in the intro, uh, a mask to protect against the harmful fumes that are in the spray paint. Now, that's very important because there are very bad fumes inside of the spray paint that you don't want to be breathing in too much of, and I will probably be doing right now. First of all, I look insane right now, and I sound like Bane, which is really cool, but you can't really hear me, which is an issue. So I'm not gonna be doing either of those two things. But I can I can put some paint on my hands, it doesn't really matter. And you can wash it off with uh, goop, it's called. It's basically soap, but it's got like grit in it. All right, so obviously, as in everything, you uh... That was loud. Oh, okay, you're starting with a blank canvas. Now, uh, I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one colors. So I have twenty-one colors that I'm I can use for this. I'm not gonna be using all those. Uh two that you will need no matter what you're doing on this. Black and white. You're gonna need both the black and the white for uh that is not white. Black and white. So you're gonna need black and white for this. Also, if you have a problem with my hair, so do I. So don't, don't I don't wanna hear it, okay? I have to live with myself. So think about that. So you're gonna need black and white. Black is gonna be for uh, the sky. I'll throw a video up of me doing one of these in a time lapse so you can see what we're gonna be ending up with here. Black is gonna be for the night sky. White is gonna be for kind of shading things. And also, it's gonna be for stars in the sky. Also, this is gonna be like DIY, and uh, well, obviously it's DIY, but it's also gonna be kind of on a budget because uh, a lot of art, you need to buy brushes and even pens, pencils, things like that, paints, and then new brushes when your brushes wear out. Uh, but for this, you literally need spray paint, poster board, and honestly, garbage is what you need for the rest of it. So, I'll show you the garbage that I'm going to be using. Alright, piece of garbage number one. A lid. This is just a lid off of a bucket of baseballs. Um, literal garbage. So uh, a plastic bag from the supermarket, which uh, fun fact, 
You know how they... You know what? No fun facts today. Not in the mood. Was I actually about to just say a fun fact about plastic bags? I hate myself. All right, we're finally gonna get to paint something. Who would've thought, right? Okay, so what you're gonna do, first of all, start off by taking whatever you want your planet to be. So uh, for this, I'm using this lid as just an outline. I'm gonna take my black spray paint. So I'm, that will kill you. Uh, we're gonna take black spray paint first and the lid. Just kind of eyeball it, throw that lid up anywhere you want that planet to be and just kind of, very important, very, stop what you're doing, listen to me. Shake, shake it, shake it up, okay? Because if you don't shake, I didn't cut that out. Uh, so you're gonna wanna shake it up because if you don't shake it up, you're screwed basically and it's just gonna drip all over the place and it's gonna be like a oily liquid and you do not want that, believe me. Now that you've properly shaken it up, you're gonna just put that wherever you want your planet to be and then just lightly outline where that lid just was. So as you can see, we got this little white circle. Well, it's not really little. We got this white circle in the middle of the, in the, middle of the poster. And that is where your planet is going to be. Now, the thing about art is that it's all a lie. It's all a sham. Don't buy art, just make it. It's way easier than you think it is. So this is, this is an important step, actually. You need to pick out the colors that you want this to be. You want the planet to be a specific color or colors. You wanna just pick out what those colors are gonna be, like whatever your favorite color is, whatever the person that you're giving this to's color is. I don't care about you. Okay, so I'm gonna just pick purple. No, I'm not. I'm picking yellow. So what I'm gonna do is with the yellow, after I shake it up all nice and good, I'm gonna spray inside this white circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can go on the outside. Everything on the outside of the planet is gonna get covered up anyway. So you don't, this is not a science. You don't have to be exact. So. Now I'm gonna let that sit for 15 seconds because that's how long it takes to honestly dry these. It's not, not bad at all. Then I'm gonna take a second color, whatever I want my second color of this to be, if I want a second color. Um, and we are going to take that second color. Again, it's not exact and it's not difficult. Spray it anywhere you want in there. There you go. Now you might wonder, why did, I, why did I spray it in the way that I sprayed it? And the answer is, I have no idea. I don't know how this is gonna look until I'm done. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the fun part of this type of art too, is you have no idea what this is gonna look like until it's over. Well, I ran out of storage, so if things look a little bit different, don't worry, you're not behind. I didn't touch anything. Uh, I have no idea what I was saying, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go with the next step. So uh, after you spray that green and that yellow on there, not completely black, just, just kind of throw some black on there. Then throw some white on there also. Then take one of those paper towels And literally, it doesn't have to be perfect swipes. Just start, just start dragging it around. And if there's not enough color or there's not as much color as you want, go ahead and just throw more color on it.
No. That, 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 that thing, that's what mine looks like right now. And to me, at the moment, this looks absolutely terrible. Like, I don't know how this is gonna end up looking like a planet, but I promise you, it will. So basically, the next thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna take that, that lid that we were talking about earlier, and we are going to, if, you're, if your poster board is laying down, just set it on top gently, don't mess with it. Because this is gonna be the outline of the planet. So I stuck mine up there with tape, just on the back side of it. And the tape isn't gonna, I don't think it's gonna rip off much paint, but even if it does, we can just right over it, all right? So uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that black that we were talking about. Make sure it's all shake, shake, shake it good. And then we're going to fix whatever the hell just happened. Now, at this point, if you're like me, you should have more tape than you've ever used in your entire life holding up a demonstration because you know what you're doing. Next, as I was saying, we're gonna take that black spray paint, shake, 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 and then we are just going to start, leave, leave a little bit of space here if you wanna put like mountains or things like that on it, which I'll show you how to do another time. Two days, two days, I'll do it. Uh, we're gonna take that black and we're just going to go. You can see there's like a little bit of whiteness here and whiteness there, a little bit of whiteness down here and on the sides. That's fine. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be covering the entire thing because the next part, which is my favorite, is going to be putting little auras, kind of, in the night sky. So, basically what I'm gonna do here is, hold on. Basically what I'm gonna do is take one that has a top on it, cause that's not gonna work. God damn. For this part, uh, you're going to, when you're making the auras, as I call them, you're going to make, you can make the auras the same color as the planet, and I'll explain what an aura is in a second. Uh, you can make them the same color as a planet or a color that just goes well with that, with the color of the planet. So the color of my planet is yellow. So a color that goes with yellow is purple. So we're gonna make purple auras in the sky. So shake up the color. You know what? I'm not gonna tell you to shake anything anymore because you know that. Because you're really goddamn smart, you know that? So you're gonna do exactly what you need to. Then you're just going to not color in the background like we've been doing. You're just gonna start. Throwing random blotches of whatever color. This seems to be a navy blue, not a purple, but that's interesting. Uh, just throw random blotches of it in the sky. Just, just random little spots and streaks of it in the sky. Then, what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, but you didn't have to click on this video, so I'm gonna tell you you have to do this, is I'm going to take the yellow that I used for the planet, and I'm going to do those auras in the sky as well, which means not big, long strokes of, of uh, paint in the sky, it's just gonna be like that. Just stroke, streak, Dot. Easy. All right. Now what you're gonna do, and this is, this part makes you look like you know what you're doing. Even though we both know that you have no clue what's going on ever. Idiot. Uh, this is where you put your gloves on, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, doesn't really matter. However many you can, uh, you can handle. You're gonna take those, you're gonna spray them with white. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to kind of flick at the board or at the poster, and it's gonna flick random dots onto the sky. Those are your stars.
Now you have your stars in the sky, you have auras. None of the board should be white. It looks white up here for you guys because that's the reflection of the light, but I promise you, I did it perfectly. And if it doesn't look right for you, you messed up, dummy. So what we're gonna do now is that, that lid that you've had on the entire time, you're gonna take that off. And then when you take that off, you're about to be speechless. That's just how it's gonna go. Now there's your planet in the in the, the night sky. And then not, I cannot speak today, so I'm really sorry about that. So uh, what they, we have the circle in the sky and we have the small circles. Um, Where's my life come to? We have the planet in the middle, we have all the stars around it, we have auras in the sky. Looks really, really nice. This is the final step. This is the last step of the whole thing. So it's important when you're making a painting or something like that, when, especially after you're done with this and you take it off and you see what you made, you wanna make sure that it has depth. And what I mean by depth is, let's say that the sun is shining on this planet, or from this direction, I mean. Uh, that means that this is all gonna be light and it's gonna get gradually darker as it goes to the edge. So you're kind of putting shadows on the planet, but again, it's not a perfect science. So you literally take your black spray paint, make sure that it's black spray paint, and then shade it just on one side. Now, if you're thinking, well, I just covered up so many stars in the sky. Guess what, dummy? Just boom, 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 more stars in the sky. Yeah, that's basically it for this. Um, next time, I'm gonna show you how to do the, uh, some mountains and maybe like water with a reflection of this, which all sounds really advanced, but it literally takes a piece of cardboard and your finger, and that's water and uh, mountains. So I hope you uh, at least learned something, or if you wanna try this for yourself, please tag me on Instagram. My Instagram will be in the description, because uh, I really wanna see if what I just told you is gonna work for you. That's fucking art. Thanks again for watching. It's currently 4.30 in the morning uh, at the time when I'm doing this voiceover because it took me three hours to edit this video. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a comment below. Let me know if you liked what you see. If you want to do more uh, painting videos, if you want to see more science videos, if you want to see anything else, just let me know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's two bloopers from... Uh, the recording of this at one in the morning. The whole thing. If I could find out where I put the black spray paint at, is that it? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not it. Son of a biscuit.